Welcome to Ask Barbie, where you ask and I answer. Hazel Scritch says, do rainbow science. Whoa, what is happening? Barbie, show us some science. Yes, Barbie, Dreamtopia knows all about magic, but we want to learn about science too. <coughs> sure, it'll be fun. Today, we're going to do some very colorful DIYs. It's rainbow science that you can do at home. Yeah. Chelsea, what's going on? This salad dressing isn't mixing. First of all, that's a lava lamp. Oh. And secondly, it's because water and oil can't really mix. Why not? They don't get along? Not exactly. Here, I'm going to show everyone at home and you, Chelsea, how to make a colorful lava lamp. All you need is oil, water, and food coloring. And I'm adding a little something special. Glitter! The saying in chemistry goes, like dissolves like. Water is a polar liquid. And oil is a non-polar liquid. The molecules that make up each one are different shapes. So instead of combining with the new molecules, they stick to their old ones. Like food coloring and water, those mix. But add the oil. And that does not. And oil is less dense than water, so it floats. Finally, add the glitter. And here. Have a colorful, homemade lava lamp. Ta-da! Cool! I'm still going to shake as hard as I can and try to mix them. Oh, or you can help me make more for your friends. That sounds like more fun. <laughs> <laughs> Adlin asks, what's your favorite color? Hmm, green, blue, mauve, pink, cyan, magenta, turquoise? Mine's Glumfrey Tumble, but only Dreamtopians can see it. Thanks for helping me with my art, Skip. Hey, even I need a break from my phone once in a while. Now let's begin. Grab some paint. Uh, I think we forgot some. Oh no! Wait a minute. We're okay, but there are only three colors. True, but they're primary colors. When you combine any of these three, you get all the colors of the rainbow. Like when we mix half of yellow and half of blue. Green! Wow! What about red and yellow? Orange! Beautiful! Now, let's try red and blue. What do you think that'll be? Hmm, could that be purple? Correct! And you can add more of one color to get a certain shade. That is so cool. Oh, look! We painted all over your canvas! I think I can make this work. It's very abstract. I'll call it Mixed Emotions. You are a true artiste. I know. What are you doing? What? I want to fit the part. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> See? A rainbow cake is baking science and colors. And tasty. Our next comment comes from Julie MCQ, who says, Do the baking soda volcano. OK, Chelsea. I'm going to show you how to make a classic science experiment with a rainbow twist. It's the baking soda and vinegar volcano. With a parent, you can do this at home. That's right. Just get some baking soda, vinegar, dishwashing soap, and your favorite color food coloring to make the lava bubble out of the volcano. Oh, and don't forget the volcano. You can make that out of a soda bottle, a baking pan, and dough made from flour, salt, cooking oil, and water. Wow, a real volcano! I've already added the baking soda, warm water, dish soap, and food coloring to the soda bottle inside the volcano. Now, I'll just slowly pour the vinegar in like this and... Ah! The floor is lava! See? When baking soda mixes with vinegar, it creates a chemical reaction that lets off carbon dioxide. 
and makes the colorful lava grow and grow. Barbie, climb quick before it gets you. Oh, it's okay, Charles. It's not a real volcano. It's just pink foam. Play along, Barbie. When do we ever get a chance to play the floor's lava game with the volcano in the middle of the room? <gasps> right, of course. Ah, the floor is lava. It's going to get you. Get to the table here. <laughs> careful, careful. <laughs> Thank you for showing us all about rainbow science, Barbie. My pleasure. Thanks for watching, Ask Barbie. You can leave a comment and I might answer. Bye-bye. <laughs>